Welcome back to the channel. I'm very excited to be sharing with you some more tips about traveling to the beautiful state of Alaska. Tip number one, and as boring as it sounds, and that is to plan ahead of time. I have received so many messages this year from people not being able to find rental cars or places to stay because of high demand. Plan ahead of time. If you're going to be exploring Alaska by land, make sure that you have all of your accommodation figured out. If there are some activities that you are interested in and they need or require reservation, make sure that you take care of that ahead of time. I did share some recommendations like using Turo, the mobile application for renting cars, or even considering renting an RV or a camper van instead of a car, or even going to Facebook communities and seeing if there are any locals to Alaska who are willing to rent their cars or their places. So these are some of the things that you can think about if you find yourself in a similar situation. Tip number two, never run from a bear, but do run from moose. While moose are generally perceived to be less dangerous than bears, more people in Alaska are actually injured by moose than by bears each year. Keep your safe distance if you see a moose, and if you happen to be charged by a moose, run to the other direction. Usually, they're not going to chase you for that long. They might look like cute, nice, fluffy, shy animals, but they are huge, and they can get pretty dangerous. Tip number three, be bear aware. If you're gonna do some hiking and exploring the back country, you are going to be in bear territory and it's important to understand safety in bear country. You wanna make sure that you have a bear spray with you. If you're hiking alone or even with a group of people, you want to make sure that you are making enough noise on the trail. You don't want to startle a bear. You never want to stay between a mama bear and her cubs or any other animal for that matter. And you obviously want to know how to use a bear spray if you have to. Tip number Number four is gonna take us back to moose and that is to drive carefully, especially if you are exploring Alaska by land. Each year, between 600 and 800 moose are killed by drivers in Alaska, often destroying the vehicle and even injuring riders. So when you are driving, keep your eyes open and focus on the road. Try to avoid driving during nighttime. If you are exhausted, avoid driving. There are so many signs on the highway you will see that are trying to remind you that there are so many moose on the road. So keep an eye out. If you do happen to hit a moose, you do want to take the time to report it. It's very important for so many reasons. Obviously, you want troopers to come and salvage the animal. And also because there is a program in Alaska called Roadkill Program where families and residents of Alaska will register into that program. And whenever the troopers will salvage an animal, if it's in good conditions, some of these families will benefit from hundreds of meat that would have otherwise gone to waste, which is pretty neat. Pack for cold weather, even if you are visiting Alaska during summer, because summer in Alaska is not like summer in the lower 48 you want to make sure that you have layers rain jackets because you will definitely get some rainy days you want to make sure that you have down jacket gloves sturdy boots and by the way i have a full video in which i talk about what to wear if you are visiting alaska during summer and you will be able to find it right there the best time to visit alaska is the best time for you now it's very common for people to go to alaska during summer don't get me wrong alaska during summer is so beautiful but any time you visit Alaska, you are going to have an adventure of a lifetime. And it just depends on what activities are you interested in. Winter in Alaska is amazing. There are so many activities that you can do during winter, like dog sledding, snow machine or snowmobiling. You can go and watch the Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis. There's so many things that you can do during winter. So really, the best time to visit Alaska is the best time for you. Maybe if you are interested in watching whales, summer is going to be the right season for you. So it's all about what you are interested in. Tip number seven, and that is to set a budget for your trip to Alaska. And you want to know what are your big expenses. Maybe getting to Alaska is not that expensive, but the activities that you choose to do once you are in Alaska can add up pretty quickly. So you want to make sure that you write down what are some of the top five or 10 activities that you want to experience once in Alaska, and then set a budget for every one of them. This way you are not spending more than you can afford. Tip number eight, and that is to travel with some food and water in your car if you're exploring Alaska by land. In Alaska, there aren't so many roads, so if your car breaks or there is a problem on the road, you want to make sure that you do have some food and water for emergencies. Tip number nine, the last one on this list, and that is to add ice climbing to your bucket list. I don't hear a lot of people talking about ice climbing when they go to Alaska, 
but it's such a wonderful experience, especially because Alaska is one of very few places in the world where you can ice climb during summer. How cool is that? We went to Matanuska Glacier, we took an ice climbing guided tour, for the first time, it was not as intimidating as I thought. It's something that you can do, I highly recommend it. These are my tips for today, and if you haven't watched my previous video in which I shared 10 tips for first-time visitors to Alaska, be sure to check that out. And if you found this to be useful, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. My name's Habiba, this is Tracking Pals, and I will see you very soon on a new adventure.